In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can take a single path and convert it into this simple sketch effect using Inkscape. So I'll come over here into Inkscape and get started. The first thing I want to do is create an object that only has a stroke applied. If you're using an object with the fill color applied, this effect is not going to work. So make sure it's only a stroke. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the pencil to create my stroke. I want to make sure I have the spiral path setting applied the smoothing set to 50 and the shape set to none. And with those settings in place, I will click and drag on my canvas and draw a cursive letter L. Once that's done, I will grab my selection tool and I will open up the path effects menu by going to path and selecting path effects. And you should see here, we already have the spiral path effect applied. I'm gonna apply another path effect now using this drop down menu. And the path effect I'm looking for is called sketch. If you're having trouble finding this, just type in the word sketch up here and it'll narrow all of these down so that you only see the sketch option there. So I'll click on that to select it. And I'm gonna pull this menu out a little bit so I can see these options a little better. And you can see we have all of these levers here that we can play with. You can see the effect is already applied. But if I want, I can increase the number of strokes and you can see what happens when I do that. It makes it look more dense or I can lower it so it looks less dense. And then over here, I can increase or decrease the length of the stroke. If I bring it all the way up, it looks like they're individual strokes. Whereas if I bring it all the way down, it almost looks like ants. I'm gonna use somewhere, somewhere in between. And after applying that, I'll go and update this as well. And then we have some other settings over here that we could play around with as well, such as overlap max. You can see this as I increase and decrease that, how it looks. This looks a lot more dense, like a pen stroke, whereas if I bring this down, it looks more like pencils. And over here, the displacement, this takes the path and brings it off of its path a little bit, so it looks a little wonky. This would be good if like you're creating a circle and you don't want it to make it, you don't want it to look like a perfect circle. You want it to make it look a little off so it looks like it's hand-drawn. This displacement, setting is good to play with there. And then over here, we have the length of the lines. If I bring this up, you're not gonna see much of a difference, but if I take the scale, the scale will also affect that as well. So if I bring the scale up, you can start to see what that does. You see those lines sticking out there. So let me bring this down and I'll bring this down as well. And the good thing about this path effect is that it's temporary, it's non-destructive. I can minimize this menu right here. And if I wanna to toggle the preview of it off and on, I could just click this eyeball icon right here and I'm right back to my original path or I can toggle it back on. And what I'm gonna do now is grab my nodes tool and I could just take my nodes and adjust this to make it look a little better because when I drew this line, it did come out a little sloppy. So I'm gonna straighten this up a little bit. And once you're happy with how it looks, you can go back to the selection tool and you can also open the fill and stroke menu by coming down here to the stroke stripe and double clicking that right there. And when you double click that, you'll get the fill and stroke menu. Let me bring this in a little bit. And I'm gonna come over here to the stroke style tab and you can see you can increase or decrease the size of the stroke. Now for this effect, I've noticed the stroke size of one pixel looks best. If I increase this to something like five, you can see you don't really, you kind of lose the effect. So I'm gonna lower that down to one. And you can change the caps as well. If I zoom in on these lines, you can see these have squared caps. They don't look very natural. When you draw lines, they don't really look like that. So you may wanna use rounded caps to make them look a little more natural. And once you're happy with how it looks, you can apply, you can finalize the effect by going to path and selecting object to path. And now if you grab your nodes tool, you can see all of the individual paths in there. But I would only recommend doing that once you are 100% happy with how everything looks. Uh, this would be good to do if like you're gonna take this design and open it in another application. You'll wanna, you'll definitely wanna convert that to paths first. Otherwise, if you're just using it in Inkscape, you could just leave the path effect applied. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you wanna check that out. As always, thanks for watching.